Good morning. This is Kello Land on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. The Hamlin County Sheriff's Office is investigating suspicious activity at the north end of Lake Ponset over the weekend. Authorities say it happened Saturday afternoon on South Dakota Highway 28 at Stone Bridge. A caller reported a man walking in the driving lane, causing them to stop. The man approached the caller's car and tried selling them jewelry. The man got aggressive and the caller contacted law enforcement. The man then left the scene in a black SUV with California plates heading west towards Highway 81. If you have any information or have seen the SUV in the area, you are asked to call the Hamlin County Sheriff's Office. A Rapid City man is behind bars in Meade County this morning following an incident on Sturgis Road over the weekend. The Sheriff's Office says deputies were called to the area of Socorro Station just before 5 o'clock Saturday afternoon for a domestic violence incident. While investigating, authorities say a man jumped from a trailer window and ran. He then broke into the Hillsview Church. Two construction workers were working inside at the time. 28-year-old David Bear was wanted for three warrants in Pennington County and was a suspect in a pursuit in another county. The Millette County Sheriff's Office is asking for the public's help in identifying the people involved in a recent vandalism. Officials say it happened to the American Legion Monument at the White River Cemetery. Floodlights were destroyed and multiple graves were damaged. If you have any information, you are asked to contact the Millette County Sheriff's Office. Now let's get a check of our weather with meteorologist Scott Munt. Record warmth on tap today, Scott. Oh, we're setting records today. Mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Widespread 60s and 70s in the forecast. We are forecasting 70 in Sioux Falls, 65 in Aberdeen, 68 in Pier, and 68 in Rapid City. 72 today in winter. We'll try to hit 75 in Yankton. More details on your Kettle Land Live Doppler forecast coming up. Thank you, Scott. Republican South Dakota Senator John Thune has endorsed former President Donald Trump in Trump's bid to return to the White House. Thune's office confirmed to Kelloland News reporting from Fox News Digital in which Thune said, quote, I support former President Trump's campaign to win the presidency and I intend to do everything I can to see that he has a Republican majority in the Senate working with him to restore American strength at home and abroad. For the last six weeks, Corey Stevens has spent his Sunday afternoons at the Avera Prairie Center in Sioux Falls receiving chemotherapy. He was diagnosed with stage 4 colorectal cancer last October. Doctors found multiple tumors in his intestines after Stephen went in for a colonoscopy. Stevens says it's important to get tested even if you think you're fine. You can leave a healthy lifestyle and still have something like colorectal cancer uh, show up. For the last three years, I've worked out seven days a week. I've ate very healthy, don't drink, don't smoke. I did not see this coming. Stevens says he was told last week his tumors have shrunk. He has five additional rounds of chemo left before doctors reevaluate his condition. Hucits Speedway in Brandon hasn't hosted a race since Labor Day weekend, but the season never truly ends. Among the long list of winter projects, the new headquarters for Big Game Motorsports is currently under construction just north of the track. Houston's general manager, Doug Johnson, also recently completed the 2024 schedule. This past year took longer than usual um, with the high limits and, you know, the world of outlaws and just trying to, to find the right dates uh, for the national touring series. Uh, it took a lot longer this, this year to get our schedule out, but, uh, you know, now we're in full bore, especially with this nice weather. Everybody's getting excited about racing and, uh, you know, we're, we'll be ready to go come Mother's Day. Mother's Day opener is Sunday, May 12th. This year's schedule includes 22 nights of racing, highlighted by the quarter million dollar to win High Bank Nationals in June. And due to recent warm weather, Great Bear Ski Valley is officially closed for the season. Guests sent the season off with Snurt Fest on Sunday. Skiers and snowboarders went down the hill and skimmed across a pond under the sunshine. Great Bear is offering a $100 credit to current season pass holders for next year. Well, coming up later this morning, we find out which act is coming to the Denny Sanford Premier Center for the venue's 10th anniversary concert. Last week, the general manager told Kelloland News tickets would probably be the most expensive in the building's history because of the act. Stay with Kelloland News as we bring you the details. That's a look at some of our top stories. Now let's get one last look at your weather with meteorologist Scott Munn. Scott?
All right, good morning, everybody. Record-setting day as we are looking at uh, forecast highs in the 60s and 70s for today. We'll either tie or set uh, many records across Kettleland 4 this afternoon. That changes as a cold front moves through for tonight into tomorrow. And with it, we'll have strong wind, also a chance at a couple of snow showers. You could see those trying to show up western, central, and northern Kelloland during the morning hours for tomorrow. This will try to hold together as it moves to the east early afternoon. We could see a couple of snow showers in eastern South Dakota, western Minnesota. It does extend down in the southeastern Kelloland. The snow will remain light, less than an inch, hard to measure because of the strong north to northwest winds we'll have. Lighter winds for Wednesday and we'll change that wind direction more so to the southwest Thursday. That will help bring in the 50s and 60s as we hit Thursday and I think that will just continue right in the Friday and for this coming weekend. But in the meantime there is that very slight chance that we may approach an inch of snowfall in parts of western and say north central South Dakota. Those are probably the best locations to see maybe around an inch of snowfall. But again, hard to measure because of the strong winds. You could see our future cast winds tomorrow afternoon from the north and northwest. Now you see some of those gusts of 35 to near 40 miles per hour or more. And then the winds do die down as we go into Wednesday and more of that southwesterly wind can be expected for Thursday and Friday. I mentioned that will help us warm. Red flag warnings for today, too, across the southern tier of Kelloland. Very warm temperatures, very low humidities, too. So we are looking at a red flag warning southern tier of South Dakota throughout much of Nebraska and Iowa. As the front moves through tonight, again, that cold front, the strong north to northwest winds behind it, we have wind advisories that will go in effect for tonight. And this is a winter weather advisory for the hills of western South Dakota. This goes in effect for tonight. The hills may see one to four inches of snowfall as well as blowing snow. Enjoy the warm temperatures today. Highs in the 60s and 70s. As we do get into tonight, I think uh, those temperatures will continue to fall through the day tomorrow. But in the meantime, tonight, whatever number we have at midnight will probably end up being the high for tomorrow. And you see uh, the seven day forecast, the warmer temperatures do return Thursday and Friday. And you can check the rest of the seven day forecasts while you're here online. Have a great day.